everyone. John Chow here from JohnChow.com. This is Sally and my good friend Jin. Uh, we're here in Singapore and enjoy. We just where, where did we go, Sally? We, we were at the uh, Santosa Island, having a lot of fun there. And uh, so far, our trip in Singapore is going really, really great. Jin's been showing us around, and I finally got over the sticker shock of the prices here. I mean, after paying twenty dollars for one pound of BC straw uh, cherries and twenty-five dollars for a Subway sub. With one drink, so uh, but I thought I was always take a shock until I found how much it costs to get a, to drive around here. All right, so Jen was telling me that uh, if you want to buy a car in Singapore, first of all, you cannot just buy a car. You have to go to the government office to buy a piece of paper. It's called a certificate of entitlement, a C O E, and that and that gives you the right to buy a car. Because without this piece of paper, you can't buy a car. So this piece of paper costs you seventy thousand dollars. <laughs> so seventy and so after spending seventy grand, you can then go into a dealership to buy your car. Now you're probably broke by then. You might be broke by then. Anyway, so how much is the car here? Well, my Jaguar. That's only one hundred fifteen thousand in the United States. Here costs five hundred and fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> and of course that makes the seventy thousand dollars for the COE seems okay. But not only is the car expensive, and and the entitlement certificate is expensive, just driving around Singapore, see, it costs we, you money. It costs you money. See, uh, we got this little device right there. That's a and in that device, that thing. Uh, Basically, it's a transponder, and as we're driving through the streets, the thing just takes money away from you. Yeah, it just takes money. Like, we we'll come up to a street, it tells us to use the street, it costs one dollar, and boom, the thing takes a dollar away. Uh, when we were in Santosa, when we drove into the island, it took six bucks away. And then we went to the parking lot, it took another three bucks away. <laughs> so I'm just driving Horrible. Up. Horrible. <laughs> Horrible. So that all leads to one conclusion. That may explain why. That may explain why Singapore has the highest percentage of millionaires living in here. One in six families here have over a million dollars of disposable wealth, okay? and there's one of them. <laughs> There you go. So uh, yeah, we're having a great time. I mean, do check if you ever come to Singapore, do do check it out. But bring lots of cash. You better. Yeah.